Tonight, a frightening account from the aunt of a five-year-old boy locked inside a hot van outside his daycare for several hours last week, and the boy's going to be okay. The owner of the daycare, Marika Richards, now charged with child neglect. This happened at the Alpha Omega Learning Center on Hyde Park Road. His mother went to go pick him up, but she overheard the boy wasn't in the daycare. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati talked with the child's aunt. And Renee, the family is grateful that this child made it out alive. Extremely grateful. The situation could have turned out very differently. The boy named Carson was trapped inside of this white van outside of the daycare in the summer heat for close to two hours. Now his family wants the Department of Children and Families to investigate what happened here. This was a scene after a boy was trapped in a hot van for several hours. JSO and firefighters responding to the Alpha Omega Learning Center. We talked to the boy's aunt, Tata Smith, who did not want to show her face on camera. She says she got a call from her sister, hysterical, after going to pick up her son. When I asked her what was going on, she was basically telling me that she just left the daycare. They couldn't find Carson. Carson was locked in this van in close to 90 degree heat. An arrest report states he walked in through a side door, crying, breathing heavy, his T-shirt drenched in sweat after managing to open the van door and get out. Um, Carson, unfortunately, he was beaten on the window. No one heard him told me, Auntie, I was over there in that van and it was hot. My eyes was burning. Smith says she confronted the owner, Marika Richards, about what happened. What did the owner of the daycare tell you? She said that she looked through the windows and she opened the back door and she didn't see a child. It was not apologetic. It was not sympathetic. She had no remorse. News 4 Jax went to the daycare to get their response. I'm Renee Beninati with News 4 Jackson. We were hoping to step off of the property, please. Smith says the owner told her she would just get a citation. The family reported this case to DCF and hopes they take action quickly. 45 minutes later, we could have been getting the wrong call. That's my biggest concern. Tonight we did reach out to DCF and they say they are still waiting for information on this case. Now the family tells me the boy is expected to physically recover, but they tell me that he is traumatized and is now afraid of long car rides. Rep reporting live in Hyde Park, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.